Welcome back, guys. Today, I'm going to be doing, like, one of those things, how something led to another thing. And, um, I'm going to be telling you about how a game in Kansas City, I think, ruined the, um, the, you know, like, an MLB deal. So, basically... You guys have heard the story, uh, the Reds played Kansas City last year in July, you know, nobody cared, I mean, the Reds got second place, and, well, the Royals are the Royals, so, not really much of a surprise there, so it wasn't much of a game, that was, until, or it wasn't much of a series, nobody really cared, you know, the Reds made the playoffs, and then got swept, I don't think they scored a run, because, you know, we just couldn't hit last year, apparently, but, you know, there's one thing that we all remember from that series, and it's Tom Brenneman saying, you know, Kansas City is the, something is the, I can't say on YouTube, capital of the world. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then you, you just need to look up Tom, or, yeah, Tom Brenneman, Kansas City. So I gotta look up, and be a pretty interesting little video. Uh, don't if you're a kid, because, well, don't, it's a pretty, pretty, something that I wouldn't say, you know, because I don't, I'm, I don't like, I wouldn't be, want to be labeled as something like that, and just because that's just kind of a, a whole move, to be honest, um, but, so, you know, he says that, and then there's the famous call, I pride my man, man, man of faith, as there's a drive to deep left center field from Nick Castellanos, and that'll make it a 4-0 ball game. That, that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, I'm sorry for laughing, I just, that, situ that whole situation. It wasn't funny that he said that, it was just funny the way he called that, you know. Uh, sadly, he got another job, I mean... I don't think you should get a job after, you know, saying something. Now, was it kind of funny in, like, a dark sense? Yes, but should he have said it? No, definitely not. Um, I, 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 I mean, you know. But, um, you know, that, there was, I think there was another instance, maybe in, was it the Braves, maybe? Their, Fo their Fox Sports Atlanta announcer, something, was it? racial or homophobic, something like that, anyways, that, he got fired, I'm pretty sure, and, um, so, yeah, let's, I guess I'll just, so, after, as most of you who watch baseball and just sports overall know that, uh, MLB, I think just really most uh, sports went to Bali sports, which is absolutely terrible. I would take Fox Sports over this place any day, to be on over that what well, channel any any day, you know. Um, but I think the MLB was just, just they just seen how I don't think this is really what happened, but just the sports just seen all of these, it, you know, something was happening, and that morally they knew they needed to make a change. So that's why I think that you know, he definitely ruined. Um, Marty Brenneman and the uh, Braves announcer definitely ruined, definitely changed some TV history. Um, yeah, so you, uh, so, you know, I'll just, the full link of events. Uh, Tom Brenneman, or I can't remember which one's, Brenneman, we'll just call him Brenneman because I can't ever remember. I've, I've literally looked it up right before this video and I still can't remember. And I'm not going to edit it because, well, I just don't edit, you know. You know, you th okay, so he says, um, is the capital of the world hot on a hot mic? Then, uh, Nick Castellanos hits that home run to make it a 4 0 ball game, and you know, that very popular call. And then you have the, I want to say it was the Braves announcer for Fox Sports Atlanta, I'm pretty sure. He did the same thing, got fired. And then this offseason, I don't know when exactly it was, um, I, di I, I don't really. You know, watch. I I watch football, and I don't really watch basketball that much anymore. For you know, I'm just it's just kind of getting boring, I guess. And then you have that happen, and here here we are today. Here we are with literally the channel like 68 times, 69 times worse. Nice. 
I don't know why I said, okay, you, you know, I'm immature, you know. I can't say it like that, but. Yeah, and then, you know, you know, you, now you have the literally terrible sports channels where you can barely find a game. And then, you know, Fox is still trying to get some games. Because I've had to look for Reds games on Fox Sports because, you know, it's just sometimes it, that happens. But just to, yeah, I think him saying all that stuff happening with Marty Brenneman, Tom Brenneman, Brenneman um, I th think with that happening, then I think that led to sports and just TV overall changing to <coughs> bully, sport <coughs> bully sports. I think, I don't know how you say it, honestly. I really don't care. I, I just don't care. Terrible, dude. They're, it's really bad. And I think that led you know, to what we see now. Mm. Yeah, so one guy saying something homophobic led to me struggling to find Reds games. And, and the thing is, his dad was probably top three announcer in Reds history. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's just what I wanted to talk about today. Kind of a more serious video. Um, did you guys do something good today? Or, you know, hopefully you did. If you didn't, well, do something good tomorrow. Um, so I guess the moral you can get from this video is don't say something, you know, derogatory, or you might make me have to str struggle to find a Reds game. That might happen. I'm trying to get this video 10 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm working on... I'm thinking about two doing two more videos. I know I said I was going to do three, but I think I'm going to do two more. I think one's going to be about Antonio Brown. Interesting, another kind of conspiracy theory video about Anthony or Antonio Brown. And then another one I think some people like. It'll be like that, you know, kind of... You know, I don't know. It's, it'll be a little bit... Not really different, but, you know, I, I'm usually posting, like, stuff about players or something, or, like, you know. I want to do more of these videos like this, too. Like, the chain, I don't know what, what exactly you would call them. Uh, is it Stark? It's either, I think, I'm about 99% sure it's Stark Raving Sports. Does some really good ones of these. I, I really like watching those. Um, they do all sports, not just, you know, baseball like I do. But like I said, I'm going to try to change, you know, I'm going to try to do all sports, um, because, you know, I think that'll, you know, help my channel get more outreach, um, yeah. And I'm, okay, so I didn't really talk much about the whole Vado home run streak, and a few people were asking me, or, um, you know, some of my more closer friends that watch the channel, they were asking me, you know, why weren't you, um, why didn't you talk about the streak? You know, you're. I, we know you're a big Reds fan. I said, you know, I, I don't want to do that. And then jinx it. Well, I was going to say something about yesterday. And go figure that he doesn't hit a home run. Sounds about right. Um, I was really sad that he didn't. And then they lost, too. That made it worse. But they didn't win today. Uh, that, that's really nice. I, I think with Tatis maybe being out the rest of the season, the Reds have a very, very good shot of making the playoffs this year. I, I really, I really do. Um, I, I still don't understand the trade deadline. Man, that was wild. That was honestly wild, dude. You had so, it was like, I think I seen something today. It was like 12 or 13 All-Stars got traded, I think. And I seen another thing where they actually made uh, a trade team. Like, players got traded, and it was... That team would probably, like, make playoffs, honestly. It's it's crazy. Uh, and also, my, Kyle Farmer. Man, I, I just like watching him play. He got uh, his, uh, he got a player of the month, or team of the month. You know, how MLB does that thing where they, like, the best player at each position. Kyle Farmer and Votto got on there. Uh, I had, you know, my dad, 
watches baseball with me a lot, and he he's he always says, you know, that he would like to this the whole season. He said he'd like Suarez at third for his defense. Well, he's not doing good on defense really either. He he could make some really good plays, I will say, but he's just he I don't know, man. He's just not being you know. Um. Yeah. So um. I think that's it for today. I'm gonna try to get this video posted um before G before August. You know. Yeah, have you guys done something good today? I hope you have. If you haven't, do it tomorrow, and I'll see you.